My name is Kim Cameron. I'm on the faculty in the Center for Positive Organizations at the University of Michigan. I have an opportunity to talk to you today about how to handle ourselves during crisis. It's often an anxiety producing stressful situation and the natural tendency is to focus on challenges, obstacles, difficulties. But there's another strategy that helps us cope with these kinds of difficulties. The strategy is simply to identify what's going right, that is what's good in the world and expressing gratitude for those things. As it turns out, expressing gratitude is not only wise, but healthy. For example, our students were assigned in a class, university students were assigned in a class to simply keep a journal every day. Half of the students were assigned to keep a journal in which they wrote things for which they were grateful or the best things that happened to them. The other half of these students were simply asked to write down events, interactions, occurrences that occurred during that day. So we have a gratitude journal group and a non-gratitude journal group. At the end of the semester, these students were each given a flu shot. Then one week later, they were tested for the number of antibodies in their system. Those keeping a gratitude journal were healthier in one week. That is a significant number of antibodies in their system had increased. A second study, students were given a mental acuity task. What's that? You have to memorize information, you have to remember information, you have to keep track of decision rules for complex data. Those keeping a gratitude journal were significantly higher in their scores on those tasks than were others. A third study was done in which students were given a creativity task. What's that? How many things can you think of to use a brick for or a ping pong ball? Turns out students keeping a gratitude journal not only had more ideas, but a broader variety of ideas. That is mental flexibility than compared to those uh, keeping a normal journal. Another study was done using heart health patients. That is people who had heart disease, heart problems. Half of these people were assigned to keep a gratitude journal for eight weeks. At the end of the eight weeks, they were simply tested. Those keeping a gratitude journal were healthier. That is, their hearts had deteriorated less and had actually healed more at the end of only eight weeks compared to those not keeping a gratitude journal. And then a final study. Individuals who were exposed to a virus, in this case, a cold virus. They call it rhinovirus. Those individuals keeping a gratitude journal and, by the way, experiencing not only gratitude, but forgiveness and generosity and compassion and other virtuous states, got sick significantly less often, less than half as often, as those not keeping a journal or keeping a normal journal. That is, gratitude matters. It helps us become healthier physically, emotionally, and mentally. Now, as it turns out, this also uh, affects organizations. I know an organization in which thousands of employees were given a journal by the CEO. They were simply assigned to keep a gratitude journal. Another organization, international organization headquartered in Korea, uh, was headed by a CEO who asked his secretary every single day to put five cards on his desk. On one side of the card was printed, thank you. On the other side was blank. He wrote every single day five thank you cards or gratitude cards for five different individuals in his organization. He'd simply assigned himself to focus on gratitude. A third study, a CEO of an organization assigned every employee, thousands of employees, to positively embarrass somebody every day. What does that mean? That means compliment somebody in front of somebody else who cares. In other words, focus on what's going well and what we should celebrate. As it turns out, in each of those cases, the organizations went from a difficult situation to a flourishing situation in terms of profitability, performance, and so on. The point is, when it's easy to focus on difficulties, on hardships, on inconveniences, highlighting what we're grateful for helps us not only weather the crisis better, but we actually turn out to be better off. Thank you for listening.